Hey everyone, welcome to Now Playing. I am joined by Sean McInnes, yes. who is going to show us a little bit of Bioshock 2 today. Bioshock 2, we're going to check out roughly 15 minutes of the game. Uh, it's from fairly early on. We're going to check out an environment called Ryan's Amusements, which is basically like a theme park within Rapture, just dedicated to the political ideology of Andrew Ryan. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty interesting place, and as you know, Bioshock 2 takes place 10 years after the original game, so it's a lot more decrepit, a lot more fallen apart, and it's just like, it's, it's completely gone to hell. And you're playing as a big daddy this time, right? Yeah, so you play as a big daddy th this time, that means you've got the big drill in one hand, that's one of the weapons that you've got, but you can also, you know, swap to other guns as well, so uh, it still uh, feels a lot like a first-person shooter like the original game. Cool, well let's yeah. jump in and take a look. Sure, let's do that right now. Okay, so I have just opened up the door to uh, Ryan's amusement here, and you can see um, I've got access to my very first boost. I'm gonna pick this up right now. I picked up a new gene tonic, and uh, as gene tonics were in the last names in the last game, so that's nothing new. Uh, this one's a sports boost, and that helps me uh, be a little bit faster, a little more agile, and increases my chances of being drafted by the 49ers. Uh, so right now I'm going to show you something that's brand new to Bioshock 2, and this is the new hacking minigame. You remember the, the pipe style one from the last game, which was about, you know, planning ahead where you wanted the pathway of liquid to go. This one is a lot more timing based. You just have that little needle right there, mm -hmm. and um, you can, uh, and you pretty much just try to get it in the green or the blue. I'll pick up, actually I'm filled with Eve, so I don't need that one anymore. Um, the other cool thing is that there is a thing called the hack tool which is you can fire darts at security cameras remotely so that you don't have to um, walk immediately up to them to hack them. So right now we're gonna head over to an area called uh, Hall of the Future, one of the different themed areas in Ryan's amusements. Uh, first, I believe I'm being attacked by a splicer over there, so I'm just gonna go and drill his torso with my sweet new weapon here. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> you like that, buddy? Sorry about that. So I just used my, uh, my hacked art to remotely hack that thing, so now it's gonna go after those splicers that in there instead of me. So you can see the gun is doing my work for me. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go after that guy, or this person right here, with my machine gun. So it seems like there's greater variety in terms of the actual firearms that you have. Yeah, you actually get a lot of really cool. I mean, this part is only like an hour into the game, and I've already got a rivet gun. I've got a, you know, I've got my drill that I start out with. I've got my machine gun. Um, so there's definitely quite a few options in there. Let's head in this way. This way to the kitchen of tomorrow. Oh, good old Andrew Ryan. His uh, loving face is still everywhere you go. Um, so yeah, you can see these uh, little displays here in Ryan's amusements. There's a Vita chamber. Um, there's a lovely mannequin couple hanging out on the couch. Uh, I don't like how they look. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I know. The, Sorry, guys. The the creepy factor seems to have been upped. Oh yeah. In the sequel.
Uh, so new tonic. Let's see. You basically boosts up my drill. Um, so that's one option that you have for boosting up your weapons. There's new vending machines that you can go to where you can actually buy weapon upgrades. Oh, nice. And I already bought one that um, increases the efficiency of my drill, so it consumes less fuel. Um, the drill is super powerful, and so the one way that 2K Marin sort of like kept that in check is that it runs on fuel, so you, you just can't run around with a drill running constantly. So, and that's uh, the fuel gauge at the bottom left of the screen. Yeah, so it's an easy way to know. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. The cool part about this is that this big daddy is not going to attack me unless I attack him because I'm a, you know, I'm a big daddy. I'm, I'm, I'm one of his kind. Right. Uh, but I'm also a jerk, so here we go. <laughs> oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, he is not pleased. He is not happy about it. I'm I, gonna, think, I think the red eyes. Yeah, I'm going to ideally try to lure him in here and then... Oh, God. Uh, machine gun seems... Ooh, I don't have a whole lot of ammo left. How about I go with the rivet gun? Sadly, I'm out of pretty much most, if not all, of my ammunition. <laughs> oh, so you have different types of ammo for your for that gun as well, so that, like yeah. the previous game where you have... Okay, yeah, that's cool. exactly. So you have different types of specialized ammo. That is, a, um, I think, a, a type of uh, rivet where you can fire one into the wall that's got a laser on it. So it's basically like a trap for splicers. Nice. Back to my buddy. Uh, he's almost dead, so I'm just going to put him out of his misery real quick. Nice. Oh, so I killed the other Take big daddy. Breath, and so there's uh, my buddy Sinclair talking to me. He's one of the voices that you hear on your little radio. In addition to him, you hear Tenenbaum. And there's obviously the, uh, the, the tape, the audio logs that you can find, mm -hmm. which uh, expand upon the story a bit. So um, storytelling works much in the same way that the original game did. I'll try to avoid picking up those audio logs because, you know, we might run into uh, to spoiler territory. I'm going to search this guy's dead body, and I have a whole bunch of drill fuel, some money, and a first aid kit, and so that is definitely going to come in handy. So now the arrow is pointing me... Oh, hey. Yeah, so what happens here? Is it like the first game with the little sisters? Yeah, so uh, I've got a, a little sister here that I can adopt. Now I've got her now on she's my riding. shoulder. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so we what we're going to try to do now is now we're going to try... She's going to help me locate um, some corpses that still have some Adam in them. And so she's going to go drill them, for, uh, drill them for Adam. That sounds horrible. <laughs> it's delightful. But you got to do it, I know. Yeah. Adam, Daddy, over there. It's this way. 
She's got a juicy one. But when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. Let's gather some atom. That is a child of the family. Also, do you know, Not can you explain what the significance is? There was like a discard. zero out of two icon on the left side of the screen. Yeah, so um, uh, you can, in order to go and purchase new plasmids, you need atom as a currency, basically. Mm -hmm. And she's, um, she's gonna gather atom from two different splicers, and that's all that I need to buy the uh, incinerate plasmid. Okay. So once you've gathered the atom from the two corpses, does that little sister disappear and you get another one? Or do you just keep that one with you? What happens is um, once you use that little sister, um, and she is no longer directly useful to you, and so you have the option to uh, harvest or set her free. Now we're getting into the the, the ride displays. part. I I'm a terrible person. I just can't help from. That's his arm is gone. Oh, <laughs> is <laughs> oh gosh, can you blame me? Yeah, you probably can. You're such an unfriendly big daddy. <laughs> I know. I give big daddy's bad name. <laughs> All right. Is this a place where I want to go? No, it is not. The censorship bureau. Why, they only have censorship on land. They don't have that in Wash in uh, Rapture. <laughs> See? Adam is here. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. So it looks like the fight's over. I survived that stand. Uh, we don't want to give too much away, so we're gonna we're gonna end it right here. But basically, you know, I gather the atom. That sort of that sort of acts as the trigger that leads me to the next area of the game, which is sure to be just as frightening and horrifying and creepy as Ryan Amusements was. Nice. It sounds really exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, that does it for our now playing of Bioshock 2. Uh, Sean, thanks for joining us. Uh, when's the game coming out? The game is coming out February 9th, and it is on PC, Xbox 360, and the PS Triple. Great. 
Uh, stay tuned at GameSpot.com for more coverage of Bioshock 2.